Hello again. Um, now this is my second blog, and um, la my last blog I talked about UFOs and waking up from the matrix. Um, and this time I'm going to just continue the story of my awakening and how I became interested in crop circles. When I was reading Dr. Stephen Greer's book, Hidden Truth, Forbidden Knowledge, I really enjoyed the book, but some parts of the some parts of the book really annoyed me because every so often I would come across the word the words crop circles and I knew that crop circles were a hoax that they were created by old men um, famously Doug and Dave who would go out at night uh, with planks of wood and rope and make crop circles um, I mean I'd, I'd seen the documentaries on TV about um, how the mystery of the crop circles was solved and so when I, when I was reading Dr. Stephen Greer's book about um, his experiences with UFOs I, it really annoyed me when I heard the word crop circle all the time and the same thing happened when I, I read other books about UFOs the, the crop circles kept cropping up in these books and, and, and um, I, was, I was kind of doubtful I, I, was, I had a kind of feeling of doubt in my mind as can these people be really credible when they talk about crop circles as being laid down by ET craft so anyway, um, I was getting pretty frustrated, and finally, um, I decided to go to Google. Went to Google Images, and I typed in crop circles. Pressed enter, and up on the screen uh, appeared a whole screen full of thumbnail photographs of crop circles, and my jaw just dropped because what what I was presented with were incredibly complex, beautiful, perfect designs and um, they were not the crop circles that I had seen on the TV documentaries they, they were a completely different level of sophistication and beauty and then I understood that there was more to the crop st crop circle story than what I had been led to believe through the mainstream media and that led me to question the mainstream media I felt that I had been lied to that um, that the documentaries had deliberately uh, presented the crop circle phenomena in a way as to discredit it or as to show that it was completely a hoax or that it was um, that they were all man-made um, so then I started uh, investigating crop circles seriously and um, I watched uh, some videos on YouTube um, there was one particular one called New Swirled Order which was very very good and um, another another DVD that I bought um, is called What on Earth, and that is by a filmmaker, a very intelligent lady called Suzanne Taylor. And um, more than any other documentary, that really brought home the mystery and um, and presented many unanswered questions about the phenomenon. And after I watched that video, I had a very strong desire to go to England to see for myself and investigate for myself this phenomena. And um, because of work commitments and money, it actually took a couple of years until I was finally able uh, to see the crop circles for myself. I actually went last year. Um, incidentally, uh, um, 
I saw the What on Earth video about a year before I went to see the crop circle, so I had already decided to go and see them based on the evidence that I had seen on Google and on uh, various YouTube videos. Um, but the What on Earth video did it for me. I, I, I just had to go. Um, on the What on Earth video, there was a lady, a singer-songwriter, um, Kerry McKenna, who described in the video how when she saw her first crop circle on television, she felt a kind of an invisible force pulling her to Wiltshire to to witness for herself the crop circle. It's, it's kind of a and and she described it like the scene in Close Encounters of the Third Kind, where the main character, um, after encountering a UFO, has a has a strange urge to uh, to find this place that. Um, uh, the Devil's Mountain. He had a strong um, attraction to this place, and and it is quite funny. She she described that feeling, um, and she she felt the same kind of pull towards the the crop circles, and I could really resonate with that because that's exactly how I felt. Anyway, I went to I went to England last year and I stayed at a bed and breakfast in Avebury uh, which is a magical place and um, I saw for myself the crop circles and um, I know for myself that these crop circles are not man-made that they are somehow they appear in the wheat fields um, and one thing that struck me was the military helicopters that would appear and hover around the crop circles for hours um, the first day I went out to um, Alton Barnes to, to see a whole lot of crop circles out there there was this uh, big helicopter gunship. It had a very large radar um, mounted above the rotors. It was fully armoured with missile launchers, Vulcan cannons. It was a pretty intimidating looking machine. Very expensive to run. And this thing was buzzing around the place for about an hour and a half much to the frustration of my friends who were trying to make a TV documentary about the crop circles. But I was told that um, this is a common, a common uh, you know, a common occurrence, that the military are extremely interested in this phenomenon and uh, I, saw, I saw that evidence with my own eyes. The most amazing thing about my trip to England was not just the crop circles that I saw but the amazing people that I met these people had come from so many different countries um, all around Europe and America and South America I met uh, two beautiful uh, light workers uh, two women from Argentina um, who I totally resonated with I met them inside a crop circle um, I met people from all over the world who have become good friends and we keep in contact on Facebook and um, not so many people from England come to see them because as one Englishman said the English mock them because the media has uh, basically revealed the crop circles to be a hoax and um, you know people people believed it they believe the um, that, that explanation. Um, I'm running out of time, so anyway, uh, I recommend uh, that you investigate crop circles for yourself. Um, you you could be very surprised what you find out. Anyway, signing off now. So thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.